Hello ladies and gentlemen, today I'm going to be talking about everybody's favorite YouTuber, TechRax. Now TechRax, she got popular uh, for the most part by doing these absurd videos, uh, mainly uh, if you want to say that they're similar to Mr. Beast in a way, yes they are, but um, you know, he's famous for his taking a bath in a giant 1,500 gallon Coca-Cola swimming pool, but um, I feel like I should get more into the nitty gritty of this. Uh, into the video so I can actually get be organized and all that kind of stuff. So, as I said, let's go right into the video. So as I mentioned in the intro, he's similar in a way to Mr. Beast by doing these crazy things, um, you know, crazy things, right? You know, filling up a pool with Coca-Cola, that kind of stuff. And yeah, sure, maybe that'd be a little bit cool comparing him to Mr. Beast. But when you look at Mr. Beast's kind of videos, at least they're like entertaining in a way. Like, can a thousand Legos, or no, can a million Legos stop a 50 caliber bullet? Or no, you know, spend 24 hours straight underwater. And that's actually entertaining, and it's not like he just breaks stuff to, you know, make people think he's a cool person. He, te like, Mr. Beast does it because there's an actual reason. Like, he wants to see what would happen when you know, he does something with this thing or that thing. But, you know, when you look at Tech Racks, and I always hated this guy, his, um, his channel is just full of stupid stuff. Like, don't drop your iPhone 6S in hot lava. You know, I really wonder why. I wonder why you wouldn't want to drop your iPhone in hot lava. <laughs> you know, I was planning to take a trip over to, like, Hawaii this weekend, but no. Uh, turns out that those plans were actually foiled because... You know, I was planning to drop my iPhone 6 into the lava. Can't do that anymore. I mean, seriously, what kind of idiot would do this? And obviously, he uses sponsors a lot. And, you know... But he's done a lot of scummy shit when it comes to, you know, burning things and destroying things. One of... Uh, another popular video of his is when he uh, burns a phone with lava and then just proceeds to burn cockroaches as well. Um, that's really just disgusting. It's horrible. And, you know, his most popular videos, for the most part, like... <laughs> okay, so his popular videos, two, three, and four of them are all destroying stuff. Uh, expensive things. And then one and five have something to do with the pool. And then pretty much the rest is just tech destruction. What happens if you shoot an iPhone 6? I don't know. What would fucking happen? Oh, it got destroyed because iPhone 6 is not made out of, like, level 10 protective gear? What, it's not running Juggernog? You know, you, what do you expect when you shoot an iPhone 6? It's like, what's gonna happen if I shoot this Arizona can with a BB gun? You know, it's gonna fucking fall over. It's gonna be damaged. You know, how to, how to properly cook an iPhone 6S. I think that's actually the video when he just pours burning aluminum on cockroaches. You know, like, for real, it's not even... I, I just clicked on the video, right? Somebody says when rich people are bored. You know, I don't even think... There's nothing to gain from this aside from views. He's really just stopped uploading content. His... He, he really fell off as a YouTuber in general. His videos, the only, like, popular ones, you know, are ones that aren't destroying things. You know, like, how strong is an Infinity Gauntlet versus an iPhone Max? And, you know, it's a very stupid thing. I wonder what would happen. And, you know, I'm going to review some of this content. I'm actually going to play clips of it later into this video. But, you know, it's like, what would happen if you fill up a car with antifreeze? You think that'd be a popular video? Only 600,000 views. What happens if you fill up a car with alcohol? You know, are you really going to be surprised with what happens? You know, I understand in the early stages of YouTube, drop tests to see, you know, how resistant your most recent purchase tech is. But, you know, maybe 10 feet, 12 feet, you know, it, it keeps getting higher. But a uh, thousand foot drop test with an iPhone X, like you realize how sought after a lot of these technologies are. You know, I think this dude should try to fill up a car with bleach. Oh, he already did. But maybe he should just try to, like, turn it on and inhale the fumes and try to die. 
You know, I'm not saying that he should kill himself, but you know, if he would, this world would be a better place. I've seen a lot of memes like about dropping an iPhone X down a 4,000 foot deep hole. That's pretty crazy. Um, this is just really stupid. He, um, his channel it really started to degrade. In what period of time? About nine months ago. So, um, he his channel started dying around then. Oh my god. Dropping an, an iPhone X into a glory hole. What would happen? Like, he drops the iPhone X. You just hear some dude scream on the other hand. Dude, that was my fucking dick. That'd be hilarious. But, um, you know, the rest of his videos, they're not doing as successful as his earlier videos. Uh, a video he uploaded three days ago has pretty much the same amount of views as one that he uploaded a month ago. Which, you know, isn't that good. You know, in the grand scheme of things, when you have six, you have literally a holocaust of, su of subscribers and only about, you know, the population of Auschwitz is viewing your, you know, your YouTube videos. That really just shows how, f how far down the shitter your page is. So, let's just start reviewing this content, shall we? Now, talking about his content, I feel like I should mention his most recent video, Drinking iPhone X Juice with a Life Straw Experiment. And so I feel like uh, it's, a, it's an extremely stupid idea, right? Because, for one, you're trying to drink, um, like, batteries, lithium, that kind of stuff. And for two, when you look through the comments, uh, a lot of people are like, ooh, uh, the fan was trying to save you. Life Straw does not remove heavy metals. Visit a doctor. Uh, a ceiling fan broke, apparently. I am probably going to start watching the video. Uh, right after I record this audio, but um, trying to drink, I, drinking an iPhone X, I feel like that's one of the stupidest things I have ever said in my life. Um, I don't think like you can do something stupider than that, and that's what I and that's like when I was talking about being able to compare Mr. Beast and Tech Rax is uh, like Tech Rax, he, he is not a nice guy. He destroys shit, but Mr. Beast, he is. He's a nice person. He gives away. He he's nice to a lot of different people. But then here's Tech Rax. You know how much how how many times do I have to hit a Galaxy Note nine with a fucking hammer and knife to see if it will break? Like what what, what do you think's gonna happen? That's like me just pulling out a nice old G eighteen, right? And I'm like, hey, let me just fire a few rounds into my beautiful blue Yeti mic you know what's gonna happen is it gonna break am i no longer gonna be able to provide provide content for you beautiful ladies and gentlemen y no i'm like i'm smarter than that i'm not gonna destroy my own property and i feel like it's mind-numbingly stupid that he is like hey 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 i'm gonna go ahead and destroy all this shit i don't know what's wrong with him i don't know you know what, what he's what oh, like was he dropped as a child it looks like he was um I'll show a picture on screen of him. I, if you guys want to comment and say, like, hey, he looks like this person from this fictional media, because I feel like he might look like somebody from fictional media, but I'm, you know, I'm not going to bother looking somebody up that might look like him. Yes, I don't know who he could look like, but I'm sure you as the viewer could probably find out, you know. He looks like Shrek when he was a human. Probably not, but, you know, there's a lot of different examples. Um, but his content overall... It's ridiculous, it's stupid, it, uh, it's very questionable. You know, in H3H3's video, briefly going over Tech Racks, he mentions, he's like, okay, so it's a 1,500 gallon Coca-Cola swimming pool. It takes two uh, Coca-Cola bottles that are two liters to fill, to make a gallon. Okay, so then that means that you need 3,000 gallon, like 3,000 bottles of Coca-Cola, and that's an absurd amount of money. And yes, I guess that's the theme of this, you know, an absurd amount of money, but you know, it's pretty stupid how much he's willing to waste and how far he's willing to go. Just to get that view, let's get that view. Let's get 67 million views. Uh, probably using, like, sewage water or, or just normal water with a lot of dye in it. That's probably what, what he did. He probably just bought a lot of dye, dyed the water, something like that. Other iconic videos. You know, some of them are okay, like, how much will an e 
when the when eco ATM machine give me for a box of, you know, used technology, you know, I feel like that's okay, right? Because you're actually doing something nice. You're giving back to the environment. You know, it's going to be disposed. But, you know, other things, it's like you're wasting money that could be used for many different things. Like, what happens if you space flex seal on an iPhone X? You know, what do you think is going to happen? It's going to get destroyed. You know, as I mentioned, and all of this stuff that he makes is ridiculous. He compares... Um, a lot of different things, like 25 pounds of black powder versus iPhone 7 experiments. What's going to happen, guys, when I put an iPhone 7 inside of black powder? Like, what do you what do you expect is going to happen? It's either going to sink or it's going to get destroyed. You know, don't pour hot piranha acid in watermelon with iPhone 7. Oh, there goes my plan for the weekend. No, no, no. Who in the right mind is going to think, okay, so I'm chilling out this weekend, you know, I'm hanging out. Let's go buy some hot piranha acid. Put it in a watermelon. Let's uh, while we're at it, let's get an iPhone Seven and throw it in there. No, nobody is going to be so stupid as to do that. You know, other things. You know, there's a chance that it wasn't destroyed. But <laughs> other things, I really just wish he was like holding the Samsung Galaxy Note Seven when it explodes. Because you know he might deserve that. I'm not gonna say it. I'm not gonna say it because I don't want to get strokes like stricken. But there's so many stupid things that he's done with videos. He he's really been on and off when it comes to content, like jumping into a giant 500 pound iPhone cake. No, it's like nothing's gonna really happen. Um, I think he did like the fake free gift card giveaway things. Um, a lot of different things went on, um, but I feel like I should go into a different section uh, when it comes to his content and comparing it to others, and that's just going to be generally the quality of this content and you know how it stacks up to other creators similar to him. So let's get into that section, shall we? So as I mentioned, I'm going to be comparing his content to other people similar to him. I've already mentioned Mr. Beast quite a lot in this video, but I feel like Mr. Beast is very comparable to him because they're, they have an expensive taste, they like to destroy things now, albeit it's not the same thing, it's not at all the same thing. Um, Mr. Beast, he makes content that is a lot more better, he makes content that isn't always destroying things. Now listen up, I made an example saying he bought his friend a new car. Now, although he did destroy his friend's old car, that's, you know, for the, that's clickbait, that's for the views. Um, I feel like there's only a few channels which I accept clickbait on, and in those cases, it's usually not even clickbait. You know, um, the, the one guy, you guys probably know who he is, uh, Mr. Crystal Pepsi Man, who literally slammed a bottle of Crystal Pepsi that was 30 years old for the views, but he doesn't clickbait on his videos. But... Meanwhile, we have other people like, you know, Tech Racks, and as I said, I was going to compare him to other content creators. Um, just to get a little bit of a gist on the people, I looked up Destroying iPhone X to see what pops up. So we had a video from The Crusher, we had a video from Heart Test, I'm guessing that's foreign. A lot of them aren't as popular as, you know, the one, the man, the myth. The legend, you know who? I forgot the name because I'm stupid. But um, you know the man, the legend, Techrax. He probably has some of those popular videos when it comes out of, you know, the iPhone X destroy videos. You know, other people like Mr. Chad Wild Clay, whoever you know this guy is. I don't watch his videos. It doesn't seem like it's that good. Um, overall, the general gist of these destruction channels are. Buy expensive electronic, uh, destroy expensive electronics from one method or another, and profit, probably get about the same money back from what I made, and rinse and repeat. Um, it's the same thing over everybody. You know, I don't know what people expect when they click on iPhone X versus train. What w what's going to happen? Literally, it's going to get destroyed. Okay, unless it's like some other different train that's like fucking a Borderlands 2 train, you know, at the start of the game, you know, 
some of these can be actually entertaining like you know shot an iphone x with a uh, 4.5 millimeter steel bb but no that's probably still gonna get destroyed or cracked at least uh for a lot of the oh yeah look another you know box <laughs> this dude literally says inspired by chad wild clay mr uh, guava juice you know easy on the uh, agave sauce you know what i mean you know, destroying an iPhone X at the mall from Mr. Yes Laugh Yes. You know, I wouldn't be surprised if at some point Derv and those kind of children decided, hey, maybe I should try these videos before they got striked and ultimately destroyed. Um, I think we should also check out just, you know, destroying, you know, S9 because that's something that's been pr pretty popular recently. Oh, look, same guy destroying an S9 versus a train. I, once again, what's gonna happen? It's gonna get destroyed. S9 versus car. Okay, so I'm guessing Heart Test is another one of these destruction channels. And so I feel like he should also be compared. So you got Heart Test. He has one million, um, about one million subscribers. I'm guessing he doesn't really talk that much. Um, he has his channel isn't that popular um, compared to his what's well, a German Crash Test channel. So it's kind of whatever. Uh, he, it seems like he does versus train videos a lot. Maybe he owns a train. Who knows? These tech destruction channels, you know, it's question one for any of. But, you know, 50,000 views from a video that's been out for a week with a channel that has a million subscribers. He has a uh, two month old video with almost the same amount of views that he has as subs. And listen, don't always expect the same amount of views as he has subs, you know. You can say that with Mr. Hirt's channel, and you can say that with Leafy's channel. No, I like Leafy, okay? I That's why I unlisted my rant on him. I might at some point unlist it, or I might talk about it, I might review it. But, um, you know, if you look at his channel, his views are less than his subs, because, you know, they're inactive, all that kind of stuff. Um, but, you know, all that being said... All these channels are really the same. At the core, they're all destroying technology, obviously, but um, all destroying technology for fame, for popularity, for those clicks, for those views. And if anybody's still listening at this point in the video, I'm in there for the views as well. That's why I'm just trying, that's why I'm making a video. I'm always late on drama or too early. That's the situation with the Rice Gum Rant video. But, um, I have some videos that I have planned coming down the pipeline. I'm making a video about H3H3's, um, not his disappearance, because that wouldn't be an appropriate, uh, you know, word for it, but more like his disappearance from his main channel. I might make a video talking about Leafy and what happened with his channel. You know, I'm going to be doing a lot of fun videos in the future. I'm probably going to be trying to record them, you know, within this same week that I'm recording this video in. So, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, you know, hit that like button, hit the subscribe button. I hope you guys enjoyed, um, and, you know, with all, with all that being said, I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace out, boys. Yeah, got me in this party all up in a zone. Hot as Betty's trying to take away my cell phone. Like, come and party, I've been trying to shake you off my mind, but just can't get you off me. Keep it moving, they ain't worth it. Yeah, that's what my father taught me, but for now, I'm going through the motions of letting go. Cause my mind's telling me yes, but my heart really don't know. Your heart went dark out of nowhere, yet I still see a glow. So we had the hottest love. Why'd you leave me in the car?